My name is Stephanie Suter. I'm a habitat conservationist with Franklin Soil and Water Conservation District and also chair of the Central Ohio Rain Garden Initiative. Rain gardens are a depressional garden that you would create on your property in order to catch stormwater runoff from your rooftop, driveway, parking lot, any type of impervious surface. The stormwater that comes off of these hard surfaces are diverted into a rain garden where plants and soil can do the work. Normally that stormwater would go into the street, into a curb and gutter system, and the water that goes in there is polluted. It's filled with vehicle fluids that end up on, on those types of surfaces, also roofing materials that have harmful pollutants in them. That water would normally go into our storm system and end up in our creeks and streams. So through the use of rain gardens, we can actually capture those pollutants and the plants and the soil will do the work to break them down. So if we can do that, we can actually improve the water quality of our creeks and streams. We can also reduce the amount of stormwater runoff, which can help prevent flooding, stream bank erosion, property damage. If we can do these things one yard at a time, we can have healthy creeks and streams. It's Tuesday, June 16th, and we're getting ready to excavate the rain garden at Kosai. So we have this mini excavator coming in. And it's going to start doing some digging. Now we're getting boulders that came from Logan County, delivered to the rain garden. They'll be used in the design. These are all sandstone boulders that have been pulled from construction sites and we'll use them to add interest to our rain garden. garden all marked out on the soil so we know where to dig next. This is a path that you can walk on and over here is a kind of open area where people will be able to sit and watch the water as it leaves the building right in that little hole. But I'm having trouble finding. So the water will come out of the building and it'll drop into this channel. The water will flow this way. It'll go under a little bridge and then it'll keep going around this spiral and into a basin filled with plants that are like kind of wet feet. And then the water will percolate into the ground slowly. Pollutants will be removed through a natural filtering process. And we will avoid putting more water into the storm sewer. This is the day we're putting the mortar on so that the big rocks can be cemented together and create a very good place for the water to flow out of the building and into the channel where it'll go to the uh, rain garden. So we're doing a little test here to see how it's working. And it looks like the water does indeed flow off the... It's Friday, June 26th, and it's planting day here at the Kosai Rain Garden. So we have a lot of volunteers from Ernst & Young that are here to um, volunteer community service and help plant our rain garden. And they are hard at work. We hope that we will get it done today and then it will look gorgeous. Putting the finishing touch 